seeing these things shall be dissolved, what kind of people should you be? I want to tell you, dear Christian, you may think things are badly out of shape, but God is right on schedule. You know, the Lord Jesus told the story, the, the parables of the kingdom, and he told about things the way they would appear to the multitude. He told the multitudes about it and spoke about the subterfuge and the sabotage that was going on, how the enemy was seeking to neutralize the work of the king while he was away in heaven. And the Lord Jesus took his disciples into the house, set the multitude away, and now he said, let me tell you how it really is. And he told the story about a wonderful treasure and a beautiful pearl. And the day when at last the net would gather in everything, and everything would be sorted out, and everything, every book would be balanced, and everything made straight. And he said, now that's how it really is. The Lord Jesus deserves to be honored and esteemed and worshipped and revered, and instead his name is dragged through the gutter. I'm looking forward to the day when he'll get his due and every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I'm going to be there. And I'm looking forward to that day. He deserves it. He deserves it in my heart right now. If I'm going to give him that place then, why not give him that place now? Seeing these things shall be dissolved, what kind of people should you be? What kind of person should you be? You ought to be different in your way of life. The word holy comes from a root word to mean to be different. We can try to dress the same and drive the same kind of cars and live in the same neighborhood and like people to think that we're pretty much the same as they are, just sort of a regular guy. We're not the same. We have a different home, a different hope, a different life, a different purpose. Everything about us is different, you know. People ought to know I'm different by the way I spend my money and the jokes I laugh at and the way I drive my car and the clothes I wear, how I react under pressure, how I treat my boss. In every area of life, there ought to be a difference. It doesn't mean oddball. It doesn't mean that you try to be different. You are different. And if your heart is set on heaven, as you move through life, people will know you're different. Dr. Brian Pockroy in Haifa in Israel, he had been raised to hate the name of the Lord Jesus. But he saw something in this girl and he didn't know what it was and he sat down across from her in the cafeteria one day and he said, uh, everything I do to be happy, you don't do. And you're happy and I'm not. Could you explain that to me? And he said, she gave me a one word answer and I hated it. She just said, Jesus. He said, I couldn't argue. And he went and got a Bible and went to his room. He said, I was visibly shaking as I opened the Bible and I began to read the New Testament. And I fell in love with the Lord Jesus. And, and we have the privilege, when people see it, to tell them that it's the Lord Jesus who's made the difference.